Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Cornerstone Deliverance Church online prayer sanctuary. Hallelujah. Tonight is prayer, praise, and worship services. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. For this is the day that the Lord has made. Glory to God. We say welcome, welcome, welcome to the online prayer line tonight. Glory to God. I need you, oh, I need you every hour, I need you, oh, bless me now, my Savior, oh, Lord, I come, oh, Lord, I come, I come to Thee, I need the oh, I need thee every hour. I need thee, oh, bless, bless me right now, my Savior. Savior, oh Lord, I come, oh Lord, I come, I come to thee, hallelujah, praise the Lord, everybody, and welcome, 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 glory to God. Hallelujah to Cornerstone Deliverance Church. Online prayer sanctuary. We are praying. We come to pray. We come to lift up the name of the Lord to sing praises. Hallelujah to read scriptures. Glory to God to encourage each other in the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I heard some people get on the line with me. Could you tell me who's on the line with me, please? Sister Tatiana. Praise the Lord, woman of God. All right. Thank you for joining me this evening. Is there anyone else on the prayer line with us? Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made, 
And even though most of the day is gone, we still ought to say, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for this day. This day that you have given us, hallelujah, you've given us another opportunity to come together in unity and in strength to pray and to lift you up in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Sister Ta- uh, Tatiana, glory to God. Apostle yes. Asia Harry told me you were going to be on the prayer line with me this evening and that you were going to help me, hallelujah, in prayer. But I also heard that you sing as well. Do you have a song on your heart? Oh, um. We've come to glorify his name. We've come to glorify his name. We've come to glorify the name of the Lord. Glorify his name. We've come to glorify his name. We've come to glorify. Glorify his name, we've come to glorify the name of the Lord. Magnify the name of the Lord. Glorify his name, we come to magnify his name. Magnify his name, magnify his name, we've come to glorify the name of the Lord, magnify the name of the Lord, we've come to glorify the name of the Lord, glorify his name. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, we did. We come to glorify his name. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, woman of God, for that awesome song. Glory to God. That that really sums it up. We come to glorify his name. Name, glory, glory, hallelujah, hallelujah, and welcome to the virtual sanctuary online call. We're praying, hallelujah, we're lifting up the name of the Lord, hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice. And be glad in it. Thank you, woman of God, for singing that awesome song for us. Praise the Lord. I am a praiser. I love to sing. Glory to God. Praises unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Because the Lord is my shepherd, I have everything I need. He lets me rest in the meadow's grass, and he leads me beside the quiet stream. He restores my failing health. And he helps me to do what honors him the most. That's why I'm safe. That's why I'm safe. That's why I'm safe. I'm safe. And 
his arms, hallelujah, to be safe in the arms of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. To be able to call upon him. Glory to God. Why he may be found. He told us in his word, call upon me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things that thou knowest not. Glory to God. We thank the Lord for giving us the privilege the opportunity to be able to call upon him and to receive him into our heart, into our lives. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And to live and walk by faith. Hallelujah. We're going to start off tonight with the Lord's Prayer. We know that the disciples asked him, Jesus, to teach them how to pray. And this is what he said. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. And ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Our Father, our Creator, the Maker of heaven and earth. Hallelujah. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts. Anything that we've done or said that was not like you, we ask that you forgive us and help us to forgive those who have offended us, those who are trying to hurt us, in the name of Jesus, and lead us not into temptation. We bind up temptation to act up. We bind up the opportunity to act like the world, to lose control of ourselves. We bind it up in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we do believe that we are safe in your arms. You told us to fret not ourselves because of evildoers, neither to sit in the seat of the scornful, but to delight ourselves in you. You would give us the desires of our heart. We pray that your kingdom come. Right now, to us, in the name of Jesus, forgive us for any sins that we may have committed knowingly and any sins 
unknowingly that we may have done any deeds that we may have done that wasn't like you in the mighty name of Jesus. We submit ourselves to you wholeheartedly. In the name of Jesus, we cast all of our cares upon you. Father God, you already know what we have need of. You know if we need food, if we need clothing, if we need shelter. I do have some friends, Father God, some women of God, mighty women of God who are being overlooked by their landlord, Father God. And these people are taking advantage of these elderly women of God. Father God, they have been told they could go ahead and move because the landlord do not want to fix the problem. But she already knows the condition of the facility where these people live, and she knows that they don't have money right now to move. So I ask that you move on her heart, Father God. And make her do right by your women of God, mighty women of God, women of God that pray and intercede. Teach, Father God. Hallelujah. Women of God that help your people, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. One of the sisters is being overwhelmed, oh God. I pray that you strengthen her right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, Father God, that you hear her plea, hear her call, Father God. Send her the necessary help that they need. Because these are things beyond their control, Father God. And I even ask you to make a way for them to be able to move, Father God. Give them the money, the finances, oh God, that they need to make that move into a better location where they will be at rest and they will be at peace, Father. We know that the apostle, she is bedridden, oh God. So she needs all the help that she can get the pastor. She's down in her body as well, but they are yet trying to hold on. So we pray and intercede for them, Father God, that you give them strength to hold out until their change come. In the name of Jesus. There are some saints of God, Father God, who have been stricken with COVID-19. Some of them didn't even want to go to the doctor. Maybe because they were afraid what they were going to find out, but they did go, and they did find out that they have COVID-19. But we've heard testimonies all over the place, Father God, where some people have been in the hospital and have recovered from this COVID-19. We know that you are a healer. We know you told us, hallelujah, if we ask, it shall be given. If we seek, then we should find. If we knock, then the door will be open unto us. We come on the behalf of your people, Father God, your people, men and women of God, hallelujah, that love you, Father God, hallelujah, who has been stricken with this so-called disease, this infirmity. Father God, we bind it up in the mighty name of Jesus. We cover them, Father God, in your blood. We decree and declare that no weapon that has been formed against them shall prosper, that it shall not and it will not work in the name of Jesus. And then, Father, today we found out that in the very nursing home where my baby brother James, where he lives, there is 
some people that have COVID-19 in that facility, Father. We pray, hallelujah, right now that you watch over the men and women of God that reside in that facility in the mighty name of Jesus. We bind up the spread of COVID-19 in any facility where there are sick people that cannot help themselves, oh God. They are at the mercy of the facility, people. I don't know where the disease came from, but I hear that there's even some workers. I don't know if they brought it, Father God. If they're passing it, but we know that you, hallelujah, are a way maker. So we're praying for the men and women of God that you will keep them covered. In the name of Jesus, that this COVID-19 will not cut not them, Father God. Even though we know that this young man, Devin, his grandmother was in the same facility and had to be rushed to the hospital, and she did pass from COVID-19. We pray no more deaths, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We pray, Father God, for the families that have lost Anyone to this disease, this infirmity, this weakness, this sickness, we pray that you will cover them, Father God, that you will keep them covered if they have been around these people, Father God. We pray, Father God, that you will not let any sickness of this sort come to them. In the mighty name of Jesus, we plead the blood of Jesus over their life, over their health, over their strength. Right now, we stand in the gap for them, Father God. We bind up the spirit of fear, Father, for we know you have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And you said in your word in Second Chronicles 7 and 14, in my people who are called by my name, Humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Father, we are praying for the United States of America and all of us who are here. We are pleading the blood of Jesus over all of our lives, over all our health, over all our strength. We're praying, Father God, does anything that's in us that's not like you, Father, that we give it to you right now, that we cast all our cares upon you, whatever we're going through, whatever we might have, oh God, anything that's not like you, we submit it to you, we give it to you, we leave it at the altar right now. We do not pick it back up, but we leave it at the altar, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray, Father God, that we humble ourselves and seek your face and change, turn from our wicked ways. If there's anything in us that's not like you, Father God, we ask that you clean us up, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Change our heart, change our mind, oh God, change our desires. If there's anything in us that's not like you. You told us in First John 1 and 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. If there's anything in us, oh God, let us confess, Father God, that you will forgive us for our sins, oh God. Because you are faithful, you are faithful, you are faithful. 
Hallelujah. You are just God. Hallelujah. And you will forgive us. Hallelujah. Of our unrighteousness if we ask. In the name of Jesus. In James 5 and 16, you said, therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that ye may be healed. Father, we want to be healed from the inside out. The the prayer of a righteous person is powerful and eternal. Father God, we come praying and interceding for those who are sick, those who are lost, hallelujah, those who need you right now. Hallelujah. In Psalms 145 and 18, it says, The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. We are calling upon you, Father, but without you, we can do nothing. Without you, we have nothing. Hallelujah. Proverbs 15 and 29 says, The Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayers of the righteous. Father God, we seek your face right now. We ask that you strengthen us in our mind, in our bodies, in our heart. Romans 8 and 26 says, in the same way the Spirit helps us in our weakness. If there be anything in us that is not like you, Father God, we do ask you to forgive us. We ask you to strengthen us, O oh God. Because we don't know what to pray for. But we know that you, we know that the Holy Spirit, Father God, that it intercedes for us right now in the name of Jesus through our moaning and our groaning when we don't even have the exact words to say. The Holy Spirit intercedes for us, and we know that you sit in the heavens, in our hallelujah, in the heavenly with God, our Father, on, on his right hand. Hallelujah. And you intercede for us. We couldn't ask for anything more. We just say thank Thank you, Father God, for everything that you have done for us. And thank you, Jesus, for everything that you keep doing for us. Uh, Hallelujah. We pray that you strengthen our hearts and our minds. Hallelujah. That you strengthen us. Hallelujah. That we continue to lean on you like never before. In the mighty name of Jesus. You told us in Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends All understanding will guard your heart and your mind, minds in Christ Jesus. We humbly submit everything to you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever it is, Father God, even the secret things that's going on in our houses, oh God, on our jobs, oh God, Hallelujah, with our family members, Father, we submit everything to you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. Isaiah 64 and 8 says, but now, O Lord, you are our Father. We are the clay. 
and you are our potter. We are the work of your hand. Years ago, I used to sing a song that says, make me over again today. The potter saw a vessel that had been broken by the wind and the rain, and he saw with so much compassion to put it back together again. And I was that broken vessel that no one thought was any good. I cried, Lord, you are the potter, and I am the clay. May me again today Jesus he picked up the pieces of my broken heart my broken heart one day he made me a brand new vessel. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Jesus picked up the pieces. Glory to God. Of my broken heart, of your broken heart, hallelujah, of our broken heart, all of the pain, all of the misery, all of the envy, all of the strife, all of the things that we have gone through. He has picked us up. He has molded us and shaped us into his image. He is God. He is our Father. He is our Creator. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We say thank you, Jesus, for your grace and for your mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. For your love and your kindness, that you keep bestowing upon us daily. Thank you. For meeting every need, oh God, that we have going on in our life. Hallelujah. We're standing on your promises, oh God. We're doing what you told us to do in Mark 11, hallelujah, 24. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it is yours. Glory to God, Father God, you know our prayer. You know what we have need of before we even ask. But you said to ask, oh, Father God, we seek your face even now. Hallelujah, we seek your face even now, Father God, asking that you open.
open up our eyes so that we can see. Open our ears so that we can hear. Open up our heart to receive you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, you even told us in the book of Luke, the 11th chapter and the 9th verse, and I tell you, ask God. And it will be given to you. Seek, and ye will find. Knock, and it will be open to you, my God. Hallelujah. These are your promises, oh God. If we will keep our mind on you, as Isaiah 26 and 3 says, I will keep thee in perfect peace. Whose mind is stayed on me? Because he trusts in me, I will keep thee in perfect peace. Oh, Father God, we seek your face like never before. We come too far to turn around now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Father God. Hallelujah for your healing virtue. We thank you, Father God, for your strength. You are a mighty God. We thank you for protection, how you watched over us all day long, how you took some of us across, hallelujah, up and down the highways of, oh, my God, going to the doctor, going to the store, going to work, and brought us back home safe and sound. Hallelujah. We thank you for your protection. We thank you, hallelujah, for allowing us to see a day that was not promised to us. We thank you for right now, Father God. Hallelujah. Glory to God for being able to come together. So you said in your word, whether that be two or three, together, gather together in my name, I am in the midst. We say thank you, Jesus, for being in our midst. Thank you, Jesus, for hearing our prayer. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. We pray over our families, Father God, all of our children, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to God. We ask that you touch them in the name of Jesus. We know that some of the children have gone back to school. We know that there have been problems at the schools that they went back to. Father God, and the teachers and the children all came down with COVID-19. 19. Father, we ask that you touch them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, touch your children, Father God. Hallelujah. We plead the blood of Jesus over them right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you watch over them. Hallelujah. Do what you say that you would do. Hallelujah. Glory to God. In Jeremiah 1 and 12, Father, we say thank you for you are the head over all of us, our entire family here on heaven and in earth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. We bind up the hand of the enemy who comes to rob, kill, steal, and to destroy. We cancel any assignment that he has sent out against us right now. We plead the blood of Jesus over every family. Every member, oh God, hallelujah, each and every day, hallelujah, we plead the blood of Jesus over everyone on the prayer line right now, over anyone under the sound of our voice, oh God, hallelujah, that we will remain under the shadow of the Almighty, hallelujah, that you will continue to be our refuge, our fortress, our God, hallelujah, that you will deliver us from the snare of the fire in the mighty name of Jesus. We have found refuge in you, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. 
yet, Lord, we seek your face. We seek you right now in the name of Jesus, binding up all sicknesses and diseases. In the name of Jesus, binding up cancer, all types of cancer, Father God. In the name of Jesus, breast cancer, prostate cancer, Father, leukemia, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, blood cancers of any kind, lung cancer, hallelujah, 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 but in the very thing that's not like you, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, we plead the blood of Jesus over our brothers and our sisters, oh God, all over this world. Hallelujah. We come this far by faith, leaning and depending on you, dear God, trusting in your holy word, knowing that you have never forsaken us. You have never hired another forgotten us, oh God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We are always on your mind. We pray and intercede, Father God. Hallelujah for all the men and women of God all over this world. Hallelujah. Those that are calling upon you, Father, hallelujah, we pray that you will strengthen them in every area of their life. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, we bind up all weaknesses, oh God. In them right now, we pray that they submit themselves wholeheartedly unto you, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh, we say thank you, Jesus, for this day. Thank you, Father God, even for this opportunity to call upon you right now. Hallelujah, you told us in your word, if we have faith the size of a grain of a mustard seed, hallelujah, we can speak to the mountain and tell it to go. We speak to any and everything that's not like you in the name of Jesus and tell it to get out of our life right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, you say whatsoever things we bind on earth will be bound in heaven. So we bind up every sickness, every disease, every infirmity, every weakness, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And you say whatever we loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. We loose your love. We loose your kindness. We loose your healing virtue. In the mighty name of Jesus, or anybody that calls upon your name, Father God, hallelujah, that you will hear the prayer, you will hear the call, Father God, you will forgive them their sins, hallelujah, glory to God, you will help them to come boldly before you, Father God, hallelujah, and to seek your face, we are praying for our neighborhoods, oh God, we are praying for our cities. We're praying for our churches, our church home, our pastors, our preachers, our teachers, all the prayer warriors and the intercessors, oh God. We are praying for all of the children of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That your faith the faith that you have given us, that it would be deepened, Father God, on the inside of us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we look for you, Father God, to strengthen us in our families, oh God. Make our love for each other stronger and stronger. Help us to get closer and closer. In the mighty name of Jesus, let there be peace among us. In the name of of Jesus, peace, ah, my God, my God, among us, help us to forgive one another, in the mighty name of Jesus, you said to pray for those who have authority over us, we pray for those, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, the President of the United States, the Vice President, oh God, hallelujah, all the governors of every state, all the 
senators, oh God, hallelujah, the House of Congress, Father God, hallelujah, every everyone, oh God, state and city officials, oh God, that has rule over us. We pray that you will lead them and guide them and show them the way right now. We pray that you will give them the mind of Christ and surround them with godly counsel, hallelujah, and that they will act, hallelujah, with integrity, oh God, hallelujah, when they represent us, that they will Hallelujah, speak, oh God, hallelujah, for us with you in mind, in the name of Jesus, we want them to esteem you, oh God, and not dismiss you, hallelujah, we know that this world system, the United States of America especially, was founded on, in God we trust, hallelujah, bring us back, in God we trust. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah, let prayer be brought back into school, oh God. All the schools all over America, Father God, hallelujah, we can't do nothing without you. Hallelujah, we have to pray. We have to seek your face. Hallelujah, we pray for the lost. We pray for the hurting. We we pray for the lonely. We pray for the sick. We pray for the bereaved. We pray for the imprisoned, those that are behind. Yeah, my God, the prison walls, the jail walls, oh God. We ask that you send peace. Your peace uh, that surpasses all understanding, uh, hallelujah, that you give your people hope. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, help them to hold out uh, until their change come. Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. We're praying, hallelujah, for our brothers and sisters all around the world, oh God, that they will continue to seek you, Father, that they will lift you up right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We're binding up in and everything that's not like you in the name of Jesus. We bind up the hand of the enemy right now that likes to run rampant in our lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, we pray that you will strengthen us in every area of our life. In the name of Jesus, we plead the blood of Jesus over all ourselves, over every need that we might have. In the mighty name of Jesus, and we stand on your word. Hallelujah. We believe what you have said. Fed. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God, for this day. Thank you, Father God, for the opportunity to be with our brothers and sisters in Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you for every opportunity that we have to come together, Father God. Hallelujah. And to lift you up in the mighty name of Jesus. If there's anyone under the sound of our voice, oh God, that don't know you as their Lord and Savior, but they want to know you. They want to come and find out about you. Father God, we ask them to come right now. Hallelujah. And to receive you as their Lord and their Savior. We say in the name of Jesus, come into my heart. Come into my heart. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Come in today. Come in to stay. Come in to. My heart, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Glory to God. Sister Tatiana, glory to God. Hallelujah. Would you please lead us into the sinner's prayer? Lead, lead us into what prayer? The sinner's prayer. If there be anyone on the line with us that might want to receive the Lord Jesus into their life. Right now. Um, one second. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible Jesus. tells us that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thy heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. And so we just come before God's um, throne of grace and mercy as humbly as we know how. And um, it's important to uh, mean the words, not just to say them, but to mean them um, with your heart. And we know that true repentance means to turn away from sin. So you cannot practice sin. And if there's a struggle in your life, then you have to go before the Lord to ask him to help you remove it. And some things we know only move by fasting and praying. And so we come before his, because we have an advocate with the Father, we come boldly before his throne of grace. And we say, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. Please forgive me for my sins. For I believe that you died for my sins and rose again. And I will serve you for the balance of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Praise the Lord and thank you, woman of God. Hallelujah. We believe. Hallelujah. If you repeat it, that's Hallelujah. Thing. Glory to God. After sister, Tatiana, if you repeated those words and you believe what you repeated, then now you are saved and the angels in heaven are rejoicing with you. And we are rejoicing as well. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We do. Thank the Lord. Hallelujah for the prayer and the prayer line. Hallelujah. That's been made available to the men and women of God. Hallelujah. And we'd like to suggest that if you came to the Lord this evening, hallelujah, that you get into a faith-based word-based church where they do practice what they preach, hallelujah, and you will be taught, hallelujah, if you do not know how to remain saved, hallelujah, glory to God. And may I suggest the uh, mother of this church, which is Cornerstone Deliverance Church, for this Prayer line, glory to God. They are located at 830 Pepperidge Road in Westbury, New York, 11590, under the leadership of Apostle Asia Heard and Bishop Isaac Heard. Glory to God. If you would like to get in contact with Cornerstone Deliverance Church, Glory to God, you can go to the website, which is www.cornerstonedeliverancechurch.com. Again, www.cornerstonedeliverancechurch.com. You can also call 1-800-373-6948 extension 801. Again, 1-800-373-6948, extension 801.
1-800-273-8801. You, all can, you can also leave uh, your prayer requests and your testimonies there. If the Lord did anything for you during these services, you're welcome, welcome, welcome to share that information with the body of Christ. If you happen to be in the Georgia area, we uh, want to suggest that you get in contact with our uh, sister, Prophetess Maggie Cabina, Kingdom Living Fellowship. Again, Prophetess Maggie Cabina, Kingdom Living Fellowship. She's in Midway, Georgia. Go, uh, glory to God. The number there, hallelujah, is the same, 1-800-373-6948, extension 814. I might have that mixed up. 814 might be me. Okay. Uh, hers is 815. Glory to God. Uh, again, Prophet is Maggie Cabina, Midway, Georgia, Kingdom Living Fellowship. Glory to God. 605-313. Wrong. 1-800-373-6948. Extension 814. 815. I keep doing that. Glory to God. If you want to get in contact with me, Apostle E.B. Wright, I'm in Dallas, Texas. You can contact me at 1-800-373-6948 as well, extension 814. Uh, glory to God. I hope and pray that we said something tonight in prayer to encourage you, something that covered someone that you were praying for as well. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You are so welcome to be back on the prayer line with us at 5 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time. Hallelujah. At the same number that you dialed into this evening, into the prayer sanctuary. And we do thank you for joining us tonight. Hallelujah. We do believe that the prayers of the righteous one are much. And we thank God for each and every one of you for joining us. Amen, amen. And one minute ago, Sister Tatiana, we do thank you for joining us and helping me on tonight. Praise the Lord. I don't mind sharing, y'all. No, I will t- uh, say you want to help. Come on. Glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. We are helpers one to another. Glory amen. to God. Amen, amen, amen. And we will be back on the line. Glory to God at 5 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time. So until then, I say agape love to one and all. Amen, amen, and amen. Agape love. Agape love. Bye-bye.